Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to populate the current user information in the fields we have here. So what do you think? How we can take the current user information and put it here? Yeah, uh, the thing is like we should take the information of the authenticated user. So let's see how we can do this one. First of all, we will, you know, we have not written any logic here. So in the user table, we have all of this information. We should populate them except the password. Let's go to the controller here. The controllers we have so far is um, in the uh, controller, we have API, we have user. You can create another com controller for the profile, but I think that is related to the user. So we can use the current this controller and we can just write another function all the way down or all the way up anywhere you can show it. For the show, yeah, here is the show. We can use this one and I can just duplicate it and make this one as profile it does not accept any id so we don't need uh, to respond to any anything all we need is just someone is going to send and send us an http request and we return the authenticated user information so let's see how you can do this one so you might say if you are in the controller all you can do is you can write return and then you say auth user right this is what we can do in the normal controller of the user but when you are dealing with apis what you can do is you should write it like this you say return auth and we are going to use api and the user this is how it is going to work then you don't need to import the auth at the top here because this auth is a helper you can use it anywhere in your application so this is it for the profile now anyone who send request they should have to uh, access to the authenticated user information from to this your to this function so this function must have a router so if i come to the route here api we do not have any route for that so we should register it for now we have one for the user which is fine and one more i will register here route this one is going to be get if anyone is going to send uh, get request to the profile oops we should no we, we, you don't need to prefix it because it will by default prefix it and we can do is we can go to api slash user controller at profile i think it should do the trick like if anyone is going to send a request to api slash profile all you need to do is go and call this function this function in our controller the profile function is going to return information of the authenticated user so i should save both of this file for now and coming to your profile come all the way down you have mounted oh, okay instead of the mounted we can use created both of them is going to work so i will write the created and inside the created one we will write okay it should be function and it should be like this and we should write oops we are missing a comma here and it should not be a function i think yeah it is what we want so it is fine for now i think no it is not going to do like this it should be a function like this like the mounted so this is what we are going to do we say once this component was created we are going to send an http request to the server and then we are going to get the information and put it in an object here so here you know every component should return a data here so our data here data is going to be equal to oops again i'm missing and it should be a function and it should return let's say an object so our object for now we just call it form anything you can call it and for now we say form is going to be an object or an empty array whatever we want for now it is just empty later we will add more information so i'll put the comma here if i save it for now and it should not give us an error it should compile it down yeah it compiled down so now in the created here we should write a uh, let's say we say this dot uh, axios we, we can just send an http request to the server and get the information so oops you know that uh, we are going to use v form 
like anywhere else like user if I come all the way up there for the user also we use the form and it is this view form here and we pass an object the object the thing is like you can later populate the information inside your for your for your fields here easily if you are going to use view form so that's why we are going to do the same thing for the user this is all we need so I will just copy this one for now and coming to the user form here we will paste it here so our form now contain this information id password bio even the photo here for now it is just fine so let's see how we can send an http request to the server and fill this form so here all you can do is you can say xus get and it is going to send a get request to the api profile and we say then after uh, after that you can write it in another line and the data is going to re return so this is basically a function and this is going to be the parameter of the function the data this is going to be this dot form dot fill what fill is going to do is fill this information inside this one so we, we put the uh, user parameter and we put the data inside our function our fill function it will fill our form and our form must have all the information of our user so if I save it let's go to our application here and refresh the page for now it cannot fill the form because we did not uh, connect our form using v like uh, two mrl binding so for now if i uh, inspect element here and see the form here if we do not have any error no we don't have going to the v view here make sure you have the view extension in your your computer so in your chrome so that you can see this this uh, console here so if I go to profile we have the form it is an object if I open this one yeah we have this information you know admin is login and we don't have any error if I open this no we don't have any error for now it is empty and the ID is one it the name is admin and the user profile is this so this is what we are expected to have like this is the admin if any other user is login this is going to display other user information now we have them here all you we need to do is we need to put all of this information inside this field the, the field here so you know we can use the v model to do that one so before doing that i will just log out and log in as another user let's say we go to register and we say let's say this is a teacher and teacher at me.com password is something easy if we log in yeah we are here in the home and if I go to profile inspect element to make sure that this time it is going to take the information of the authenticated or the teacher if I go to profile open the object the form object yeah it is getting the authenticated user which is a teacher yeah it will display the teacher here because we did that in our first video so this is what what it is going to look like we have user type everything is set up here but you know what we should not have the user type here i mean the user type should not be displayed here because the user can change the user type here so if he is uh, let's say a user he can change it here later we will discuss that how we can secure it like the user information should not be displayed here now let's see how we can populate it here you know if i come to the user what we did that it display the user information if i come all the way up there you know that every field we have a v model and it refer to the form dot name this is the same thing we need in our form here so if i copy this one v model you know v model is going to uh, take two-way model binding if you change it here it will change that in the object we refer so if i come to profile here we have form dot id form dot name form dot email and form dot password everything is here so i will close the sidebar and for the name let's say for the name here is the label and here is the input so what you can do is you can say v model it is going to the form and name and for the email also you can use it the same way just write email if i save it let's see if they populate the information here if I refresh for now and see what happens yeah as you can see it displays the user information here now we can update it we can change it we can do anything we want 
so I will do the rest behind the scene and in the next video we will see how we can update this one how we can uh, generate image like uh, how you choose a file and upload it to the server and later if someone change the user info uh, let's say they are going to change the image and if they change the image they should uh, delete the old image from the the local file and all of those things so i hope it has been informative for you if you have any question feel free to ask below the video and if the question is a little bit like different you can check out the github repository for the source code of course that is free you can check out and see what is the difference between your code and my code sometimes one semicolon can change everything like it is not working sometimes the, the environment is different sometimes i believe it is like the version of npm or webpack uh, that i have installed it is different from your computer that's why most of the things do not work for example the menu icon is not working if you click on this one it is working for me but for some people it's not working i don't know why um, but these are the things that happen for everyone so just search around if you could not find feel free to ask so that is all up to it if you like the video feel free to give a thumbs up or a comment so yeah that is free and it will cost you nothing but it means a lot to me and see you in the next video